You go to the plane station. Oh my god. You go to the plane station. Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe and my favourite book is The Reapers Are the Angels by Alden Bell. It's a book about a 15 year old girl surviving the, well she was born into a zombie apocalypse. If you like zombie apocalypse kind of genre things, which I do, then you will love it. Pick it up, read it, it's the best thing in the world. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my travel bag kind of video if you've seen them flying around YouTube. I know I've been watching them a lot because I haven't been on a plane since I was about 11, 10 or 11, so about 11 or 10 years. So I wanted to do so much kind of research to see, you know, like what other people are doing, other girls my kind of age and with my similar interests are doing. So I had a look at all them, seeing what people are taking and, and all that and I decided to film my own. I'm going away in five days but when you're watching this I will already be away so I'm not taking a massive suitcase because you have to pay £50 for that so we're doing a, a carry-on bag but when I say carry-on I mean kind of like my backpack what will be with me and then obviously I'll have my carry-on as well which will probably go on, on the overhead. I'll just call that my suitcase I'll do a separate video for that. Oh, for God's sake. What? What are you doing? You know, no, no. That nana is so bruised. I punched it a lot. Ah. Uh. Oh. I'm a bat. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my bag. As you can see, it's very jam-packed. I was going to take a smaller bag than this, but after packing this for this video, I've realised I should probably stick with this. This is a nice little seafood bag I got from Primark. It's between eight or 11 pounds. I really can't remember. I'm sorry. Hopefully, this will, you know, make the security cards feel a bit safer because <laughs> they can literally see everything I got. So let's go through what I've got and I'll tell you why I've got it. So first and foremost a lot of the people on videos I've been watching have been saying take fluffy socks because planes can be cold, they can be hot, you know like they can change a lot. However I have cold feet even when I'm laying in bed at night with my electric blanket on so I will definitely get cold feet. I have like bad circulation in my feet or something. They're cold right now actually so I am taking the thickest pair of socks and the, the weirdest. I just I just have these and had them for ages, so I thought I might as well put some use to them. So I'm taking these. Also taking a power bank. This is mine and George's power bank. And it's got two little USB sockets. I believe you got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can. It wasn't that expensive, actually, and it's very big and very powerful. It doesn't say it on here, but I remember it was like 20 of whatever there normally is, or 30. 20,000 mAh? if that means something to you. But yeah, so we've got this and it'll be fully charged before we go. So that's a, a given. We will be away from sockets for about five hours. So you go to the airport two hours before your flight to check in and then it's a three hour flight. So a total of five hours without a socket. I haven't included going from the airport to where we're staying. So God knows, but you know, it's just always nice to have one of these. So following on that, I have my phone charger. I'm not taking a laptop. I'm not taking an iPad, mainly because my laptop's broken and my iPad screen is smashed so there's no point in taking that. I'm going with my boyfriend and my two friends and none of us are taking laptops or anything like that. I will have a socket for this but that'll be in my suitcase because there's no point having it on my person. So make sure you take this. Then next, and this is going to seem quite funny at first, you will definitely do this in the future. I'm taking some sunglasses. So just some little black round sunglasses that are super cute. And the reason I'm taking these is because we're setting off at, we're going to Portugal by the way, we're staying in Tavira and we're setting off at 10 past 6 in the morning from England and getting to Portugal at about, I think it was about quarter past 9, it was either 5 or quarter past 9, I think it's 5 past 9. So it's going to be like morning, it's going to be very bright. I am not going to have that much sleep because we're probably going to leave. From where we live to the airport is about an hour's drive. We leave, we've got to be there for four, so we're probably going to leave in at three. I probably won't be having that much sleep. Getting off the plane and it just being really bright is probably going to be quite a shock to my eyes. So I can just pop these on as soon as we get off the plane and walk in style. So take some sunglasses, you will thank me. And then also take a case just because I've got a lot of stuff in here. I don't really want my glasses to get smashed or cracked or anything like that. I am taking another set of sunglasses just because, and that might seem excessive, but shut up, because there will always be that one person, or it, it will probably be me, 
who will sit on their glasses or stand on them or something like that and I just I don't want to be in a country where it's 30 plus degrees with no sunglasses and I don't want to really buy any while I'm out there because that's just a waste of money when I've already got some so I'm taking that pair and another pair but my other pair will be in my suitcase so the next thing I'm taking is my Kindle and that's because three hours on plane probably gonna get bored I'm probably gonna get bored of flipping between the same three apps on my phone for an hour so I'm gonna take this and this will be good for not only the plane but obviously for also the actual holiday when we're on the beach when we're by the pool it's nice to read it makes the time go by it's very relaxing and stimulating and following that I'm also taking a book just because I am currently reading this book as you can see I haven't gotten that far but this is a book that George got me for I think my birthday and this is a book he really enjoys so I'm gonna take this and the only reason I'm taking this rather than like you know just my Kindle is because I have I have this in physical form. I'm not going to buy it on Kindle, so I'm going to take this. Next is a given, some headphones because I'm probably going to want to listen to music. I'm probably going to want to drown out any kids or people coughing or George trying to speak to me. So taking these, and these are really good. These are some Skull Candy headphones. So I got them because they're you know they're needed. I'm also taking some deodorant, and that's because it's going to be three o'clock in the morning when we leave. I'm not you know I'm not going to be having a shower and you know like getting ready and making myself all nice I'm gonna throw on my clothes get in the car and fall asleep until we get to the airport where I'm gonna wait around for two hours and then fall asleep on the plane so when I get off and it's gonna be nine o'clock in the morning it's gonna be 30 plus degrees I'm gonna want some deodorant this is from MS, it's their floor collection and this is the rose one oh, it just smells so good so following those lines again I'm taking hand sanitizer I'm gonna need to buy some more before we go but I kind of carry hand sanitizer everywhere I go anyway. I'm going to be on a plane for three hours. I'm going to be touching stuff that millions of people have touched. Kids with their snotty noses, with their hands and just touching things. And, and you know, people with colds and ugh, just people. You know, just loads of people I don't know. And I don't want to mingle with. I don't want to get ill. I don't want to contract anything they've got. I'm just going to take some hand sanitizer to stay clean and stay fresh. And this one smells really nice. It's got aloe vera in it. So it'll make the plane smell better because there's always going to be that one person that's going to stink a BO. And I'm not looking forward to that. So next, I've got some painkillers in case myself or one of my friends or George gets like a headache or toothache or for some reason our legs start hurting. I don't know. But it's always best to have, you know, like a, a painkiller on you just in case anything like that happens. Then I also have some hand cream. My hands will probably get a bit dry. Sometimes I get like little patches of dry skin on my hands. So thought I'd pack this. And this is Superdrug's own strengthens nails and moisturise hands. It's not actually called anything. It's just called hand and nail cream. And this was in the travel section. It was £1.50. It smells really good as well. It's not like overly strong. It's quite subtle and it's cruelty free. Suitable for vegans and vegetarians obviously. Anyway, on to the next thing. Following that kind of thing again, I've got some lip balm. And this is the one I'm going to be not only using on the plane, but also on holiday. This has got an SPF of 15 in it. So this is the one I bought in my Primark call. I've still got it and I've been using it like every day because I love it. It smells like strawberries. But yeah, so it's got SPF 15, so I can use it on holiday, but mainly I'm taking it on the plane because I get dry lips even when I'm just laying in bed doing shit all. So if the plane's really dry, my lips are gonna cry. Got some hair bubbles, just in case. I'm also gonna be taking, probably not these ones, but some snacks. I've got two kind of cereal-ish bars here. This is Tesco's own fruity bars. These are completely vegan and an apple. This is just because three hours on a plane, I'm probably gonna get a bit bored. But you know when you're bored and you just kind of, let's just eat, so. Then I'm taking my inhaler as well, for obvious reasons, I have asthma. You know, if you've got an inhaler, if you've got asthma, take your inhaler everywhere, that's, that's a given. I've got my purse, self-explanatory, I need money, I need my ID, this is my life. You know, if I lose this purse, then I've just lost everything. And then inside my purse, I've got my passport. This is just for safekeeping, because I don't really want it smashing around in my bag, getting messed up, and I also just don't want it on show. And then in the little pocket section, at the front I've got my phone that's a given and then I've got some sweeteners because sugar isn't vegan I'm not gonna go into that you can google it but it's not vegan I've got some sweet and low sweeteners that are vegan so that's just in case I want a cup of tea on the plane I don't know if they sell tea on the plane and then last but not least 
I have my DS. I have been playing my DS like a crazy person for the past like month and a half, mainly on Animal Crossing because I just love that game so much. So it's only given that I'm going to take it on the plane with me. It's probably gonna really entertain me for the, you know, three hours. I'm probably also gonna play it every day whilst on holiday, just because I like to go on every day and shake the trees and get my money, so. So I'm taking Animal Crossing, which is already in there. I'm taking Big Brain Academy. That's just in case, you know, get a bit bored, wanna stimulate my brain, because why not? I'm also taking Nintendogs, and then this is a game I could play for hours and hours. I've got Cooking Mama, and I've only just noticed today it's Cooking Mama 2. But still, Cooking Mama is just one of the best games ever. I have had this certain one. As you can tell, it's different from the Nintendogs one because this is for the old DS's. If you remember the very first DS's, this is from that. I've had this certain game since I was about nine years old and I am still at 21 trying to get all of my recipes to gold because I'm a sado. There's a few things in this bag that I haven't got at the moment that will be going in this bag for my carry-on and that I think there's only about two things. That's some chewing gum and that's because I remember when I was younger my mum used to bring Werther's Originals on the planes because my ears pop really bad and so do hers so we used to suck on Werther's Originals to help that but obviously I can't have Werther's Originals anymore. And then I also want to take some tissues, you know the little pack you can get of tissues and I haven't got some of them yet. We are going to a Primark when we go back to our hometown so you know they're, they're always on the checkout so I'm just gonna pick a pack up for like 60p or whatever just so just so I have some and then I also want to get a sheet mask and that's just because of the whole your skin can get dry thing. Superdrug have the yes to range in but not in the town I'm in at the moment the town I live in now Superdrug do not have them in I had a look and they don't I wanted the yes to I think it's coconut or something and it's it's ultra hydrating. So this is everything I am taking onto the plane with me which will be on my person and the things that I'm going to use whilst on the plane. That's everything for my travel bag. Comment down below things that you usually put in your travel bag that help you combat boredom, help you keep warm, help your skin stay hydrated you know or like snacks that you normally take that help fill you up and, and whatever. It won't help me but you could help someone else. Also I'm just nosy and I just want to know so comment down below the stuff that you normally take and I will see you next week. Bye!